Hi, it's Nicole, and I'm back this week with another workbook, Work Shelf Wednesday. This week, we're doing a westward expansion theme because my kindergartner for Classical Conversations, his history sentence is about uh, Manifest Destiny, the Mexican War, the Gladstone Purchase, and the expansion of the United States all the way to um, the Pacific Ocean. So we're going to do a westward expansion theme. So everything is Midwest themed. I found this awesome printable that I got so many activities from and I'll share that in the description box below. I just want to show you how I set everything up <clears throat> for my preschoolers so that they can go along with the theme as well. This is a shadow match and which is awesome because pretty much you know it's the shadow of all these images here. Sheriff's badge, wagon, a big old you know tin um, um, gallon size cowboy hat, cowboys, um, and, and a cowgirl, saddle, boots, spurs, cactus, awesomeness. Pretty much, you know what they're going to do. They're going to match the actual item to the shadow of the item. Very simple, very fun. We can talk about, oh, that's a wagon. What does a wagon start with? A W. That's a hat. What does a hat start with? What's a hat things of that nature and a cowboy and a cowgirl and it's awesome and they're so cute the images are really adorable and I haven't taken the time to laminate these yet but they've been very gentle with these this week so far so we might not have to but um, I think it's great because now they're able to learn along with their older brother um, with a th similar theme here is another one, which is great. It's about size, small, medium, and large. And here, these are all wagons. So what they're going to do is sort. These are the small wagons. Then they have the large wagons. And in here, there are medium wagons as well. So they'll sort them by their size which is awesome because again, small, medium, large, you're going to have to understand what that means, what that means in terms of description and what that means in terms of actual size so they're able to see what large is, what medium is, what small is. And again, they've been very gentle with these things this week, so I haven't had to laminate them, but um, when I do have extra time, I think I'll take that extra step to do that. Also, <clears throat> here's another activity, a math activity. Again, there's two sheets to this. I printed out and I put it on brown cardstock. And here, again, on the magnetic cookie sheet. And with their handy-dandy magnetic pom-poms, it's just a one-to-one. -one. One, one saloon. Two, two cactuses. And we're trying to just put the sticky dots, I mean the, the magnetic fuzzies on the actual item so that they can count. One, two, okay, three, three saddles and so on and so forth. And I believe this one goes up to 10. And again, <clears throat> to reinforce, sorry, that one-to-one -one correspondence, as well as the fine motor skills of actually taking them and matching them up and placing them on each item. Okay, so the two and the three-year-old are enjoying that one. And another one, this is mostly for my three-year-old because his fine motor skills are, are you know, able to handle this better than my two-year-old can. Once again, dollar store um, clothespins with the permanent marker. I just wrote the number on both sides. And they go, well, my three-year-old goes, and I sit down with him, and I help him with this. Um, one, that's one cactus. Can you find the clothespin with the one? And he'll find the clothespin with the one, wherever it is. <laughs> Here it is and we will put it on the actual wheel. And it's hard for me to do this with one hand, but you get the point. So he will attach it on here. Again, I just cut this out, put it on cardstock just to make it more durable. Again, you can also laminate it. It'd probably be a better idea, but this week they've been doing really good with this stuff and nothing has really been getting destroyed. And I'm really grateful for that. So for my three-year-old's workbook here, this is his um, learning daily preschool binder. And I upgraded it this week to incorporate some of these Westward expansion themed um, activities. Cutting and paste, cutting practice. This printable came with a few couple cutting practice sheets. So here, you know, simple, just cut, he cuts along the line with some safety scissors. So I'll, I'll sit down with him, of course, with the safety scissors, and he'll cut along this line to the cowboys and the cowgirls. 
Um, our letter of the week is W, which is great because W is for wagon, and that's what was included in this in this printable, which is amazing. So here is letter tracing. They say have your child use your finger or Play-Doh or bingo marker, sticky dots, Duplo, whatever. So you can do Play-Doh with this. They can just use his actual finger. He can use a dry erase marker to trace. He can use his dry erase crayons. Um, there's just a number of things that he can do just to get the idea of the formation of the W down. Then here is um, with bingo markers, he's going to find the W and put the bingo marker um, dot on the W because W is for wagon. And again, another W is for mat wagon. We use the bingo markers or a do dots to do the dots in each one of these. And because these are in page protectors, it can get kind of messy because it's like, you know, the ink kind of just sits on there. So make sure you have a, a baby wipe or a tissue ready so you can just wipe it down as soon as he's done or he or she is done with the activity. Another do a dot activity here, um, color in the correct color. So we, we use a green do a dot on the cactus and a brown or black do a dot over here. And then I include a red do a dot so he can do the little lady's dress. And then some pre-writing practice as well, some tracing, all with the same theme with the cowboys and the cowgirls. And build the word wagon. What I've just been doing is we've been spelling W-A-G-O-N out loud, pronouncing the word, each um, letter. And um, you can also break out, I have, um, you, if you have um, magnets, alphabet magnets, or we just use the actual chunky puzzle that has, you know, the alphabet. And we'll just match the W, the A, the G, the O, and the N on there. So really simple. And last thing, phonetics. C -c Cactus. What letter it makes the c sound and he'll circle the C and b b boot and he'll circle the B and things of that nature. So that's what I've included in his daily learning workbook for this week. So we've really been focusing on this stuff and then we'll come over here and he'll do some his name tracing and the things that we do from day to day. Um in here. So um, I've included the new stuff with the old stuff just to spice it up for this week to go with the theme of Westward Expansion. So um, I will definitely link this printable in the description box below because it's amazing. And I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm going to be doing a separate video for the activities that are in my kindergartner's workbook that goes along with this printable and the theme of Westward Expansion as well. Okay, you guys have a great Wednesday. Bye.